Hello everybody, welcome to Little Ian Rose. My name is Summer Noel and today we're gonna to work on a really fun cup. Now I've been challenged by my Facebook group to do a cup um, that is very similar to what would be called a milk bath. Now, um, when they challenged me this, all I could think of was a baby photo shoot or pregnant mom shoot, uh, baby photo shoot. So that is kind of where my brain went and we're gonna go and do an offshoot of that and make a cup based off of that thought. Um, I've kind of created this in my head. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna kind of play along with it as we work on this cup. Um, uh, it might kind of change and shift as we go, as I kind of work out the twinks and kinks. Uh, we're gonna be doing this cup together. Uh, you could do this on any shaped cup that you want. I'm gonna be working on a 20 ounce uh, skinny. You can see it is already sanded um, and washed down with uh, soap. I used a 320 grit to sand it. I wore a nice dust mask. You wanna always make sure when you're sanding your metal that you wear a dust mask um, and you are in a well-ventilated area because you don't wanna breathe in any of those metal particles that you were sanding off. Um, the reason that you are going to be sanding it down is to give you a rough surface for all of your epoxies and everything you're gonna be putting onto the cup to grip onto. So this cup is prepped and ready. Um, in my mind, this is gonna be white because it's going to be a milk bath. Um, so we are gonna go outside and we are gonna spray paint this cup white, then we're gonna let it dry and we'll be right back. All right guys, see you soon. All right, so for this one we used Rust-Oleum 2X white gloss paint. We're eventually gonna put a clear matte finish spray over the top of it. Um, to do this, I use these little handles. This is just a PVC pipe with a pool noodle. Um, you can use anything. This is one that I use very often. If you are a regular to my channel, you see me use this. This one is a copper pipe I found laying around in my yard with a pool noodle on the end. As you can see, it's got a lot of use out of it. Um, that's just holding the cup on so that I'm not spray painting all over my hand. I can keep it away from my hand as we spray. Um, and again, I used uh, the Painter's Touch 2X Ultra, uh, Ultra Cover White Gloss. Now, before we take any more steps farther on this cup, um, we'll let this dry and then we will actually spray a paint uh, coat of matte finish clear um, because we are gonna be adding some uh, decals and some epoxy to this cup and the all of that stuff adheres better to the matte finish. Um, the gloss finish has a uh, very, very uh, shiny finish to it. And when you go to apply the epoxy, it kind of repels the epoxy because the epoxy has nothing to grip onto. So we are going to um, put a good matte finish clear spray paint over the top of this, um, but we're gonna also be adding some decals. So hang on for just a minute while I get those all printed out for us and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got our cups spray painted white. Um, this is the milk part of the milk bath. And now we are going to add our flowers. Now I've got these done on Little Lee and Rose printable vinyl. Um, you will see why in just a minute. So these are on printable vinyl. Um, when I do them on printable vinyl, a lot of people have problem with uh, printable vinyl being uh, and their Cricut cutting it um, and, and it's seeing the lines. I do have a full tutorial on this on how do you, how I do it is what I do is I apply um, matte finish scotch tape around the outside on top of the line. It makes it so it's not so shiny bright and the light of the machine can see it. Um, that way it's, um, it, it, it catches it and will cut it just great. Um, I cut this on uh, glitter iron-on is for the setting. I put it to the custom settings and I cut it on glitter iron-on. Um, it works on lots of different settings. Um, I kind of play around with it each time I cut it. Um, it generally needs to be a thicker type setting uh, and I put it on more pressure. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of these on the cup, but not all of them and you'll see why. So I'm gonna just take these and they're basically just stickers and we're gonna take our stickers and remove them and I'm gonna use my nice fine point tweezers to pull them up off the paper. And we don't wanna to touch the back of that. We wanna keep the sticker intact and we are just going to place it down. I'm keeping my cup in place with just two silicone stir sticks. Um, you don't need anything fancy. Um, and I'm going to be just, this is a, so that last one was a beautiful, um, it was a little rock rose. This is a uh, passion flower that we're putting on now. I just printed out a bunch of different fun flowers that I found um, that I liked. 
we're gonna let's let, let's add a violet to this we're just gonna add a couple and then I'll show you guys a fun technique get our little tweezer underneath there this one's a little bit more delicate here we go pull him up all right we're gonna add the rest um, we're, we're not gonna put all of them on on the first round we're gonna do we're gonna put let's say a third of them on and then we're gonna do something else real fun we'll be right back we're gonna hit you in high speed and be right back All right, guys, we are back. Um, we've got our stickers on. I used the um, frosty spray paint over the top of these, uh, but most likely when we put epoxy on, that frosty is gonna kind of go back to shiny. Uh, so it, I have ups and downs feelings about this. Um, it depends on how much of the frost uh, spray paint you use. Um, they're definitely dull. You can see in comparison to what we have here that the colors are definitely less bright. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna add, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put our milk over the top. So we're gonna do, we've got our epoxy already mixed. Uh, we've got part A and B in two different sections. Um, I'm going to be adding alcohol ink. If you don't have white alcohol ink, you can also use a drop, one little drop of um, uh, acrylic paint, and that will get you the same result. And so here we go, you can see, I'm going to go ahead and mix that alcohol ink right into that epoxy. And you, what you wanna make sure is you only have a 10 to one ratio. You don't wanna overtake the epoxy because it changes the chemical makeup of the epoxy. All right, so we are gonna use our uh, silicone applicator brush and we are just going to put a gentle coating of clear all over this. We are using Little and Rose uh, 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 pouring art epoxy. This is the, uh, our own brand that we have created. It took us about a year to bring it to market and perfect it. It is awesome. I mean, to toot my own horn, uh, we put a very, very good product out. Uh, it's very easy to work with. Uh, it's no bubbles. It works good with humidity. Uh, it's, it's just easy. It leaves a beautiful gloss finish has UV resistance in it. It has got a high heat tolerance and it just looks beautiful in, on cups. So you don't have to worry too much about the white. Um, I don't even do my bluing trick on this uh, type of this epoxy because it has uh, UV resistance in it and already. It is, it is built into the epoxy. And if you guys are interested in trying this epoxy, uh, the link will be uh, in the description below this tutorial. Um, just click and purchase. Very easy to find. So we, here we go. We're just basically putting this coat down so that our milk, our beautiful milk layer will uh, swirl around the cup and give us that beautiful milk bath look. But you can see we don't have any fish eyes where I've applied it already. I'm just working on getting good coverage, but I'm making sure it's a nice thin coverage. We don't need a thick, we don't want this cup to be super duper thick uh, for now because we're going to be even adding a bit more epoxy here, just a second, the, the white milk bath epoxy. We are just getting, a, like I said, a gentle layer of epoxy on here to make sure that the milk bath part does uh, swirl around the cup. And we're gonna just hit the bottom real quick. Get the last little bit out of there. I'm using a Little Ian Rose Turner and we've got a little silicone uh, spill mat below it. That way I can just put my tools down and know that it's really easy to clean. I just use soap and water to clean off my spill mats. Um, again, all this stuff products, if you are new to this, um, all these products will be linked in the description below so you can find them real easy. Um, this is a really fun cup to do. Okay, so now I am going to uh, clean off my finger with a baby wipe. You're gonna take a stir stick. This is one of our long stir sticks. 
You have them in two sizes. And I am going to drizzle the white throughout the cup, even over the bottom, over the top. Perfect, perfect. Let that go on the bottom. This is supposed to, what we're doing here is we're working on kind of a 3D effect with the flowers. These are gonna be the flowers that are gonna to appear to be underneath the milk. And then we are gonna continue on and start making, working on the 3D effect. So this is, we're now just adding the milk to the bath. Got just a little bit left here and just put that on wherever we, we got some open spots all right okay throw those away uh now we're going to take a heat gun and we are going to heat this up and move get this moving you can see um By heating this up, it will get the uh, milk look moving around the cup, thinning it out, and making it more transparent. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. I'm gonna babysit this for a little bit. We'll probably come back and check it. Um, we do have a little bit running off, is which I expected um, when you add, because we already had it coated and then we added the epoxy. Um, and then we're gonna come back through and probably burst this a little bit. We wanna make sure that the flowers do show through the milk, but that they do also look like they're underneath the milk because we're gonna place these stickers over the top so we're gonna have some flowers that are submerged and some flowers that are above. All right, guys, we will be back to check on it in about 30 minutes. All right, so we are back, it's been about 30 minutes. We're gonna keep hitting it with a little bit of heat. You can see we've got some streams going. I wanna make sure some of these flowers I want to make sure they look like they're under a bath, 
but not completely coated. But remember, literally in rosy epoxy does not like a lot of heat. So this is going to start really giving a lot of texture to the cup uh, because we're overheating this epoxy and it doesn't like it. Put a video right down. So you can see in areas here where we're getting some really cool texture. Um, here you can see we're getting some dimpling. That's from actually getting too much heat on the epoxy, but it actually looks really, really cool. And if, if I effectively think that it'll um, look really cool on the tumble, on the tumble. So that's why I'm continuing with the heat. It actually hopes to get more of that type of look. So we are going to just let this sit as it is, just as it is, and we're going to let it cure up for about nine hours, and then we're going to add our next round of decals, and we'll keep on going from there. All right, guys, see we have this beautiful cup now, and you can see that um, because of overheating the Little and Rose Epoxy, it gave us some really cool looks and designs through it, making it kind of like, like movement of milk through the bath. Um, and you can see here where it kind of covered some areas a little bit heavier than others, making it appear very natural as if some have sub submerged and some are still up. Um, We're gonna continue to add some flowers onto here um, to keep that look going and to keep adding the depth and texture to this cup. So we have more stickers over here just to the left and we are gonna kind of overlap these now as we go along. and get them stuck on there. And these are gonna be the ones that kind of look like they're at the top of the milk bath. These ferns have so much detail, really cool. They're very delicate to pick off the paper though. Oh, I ripped that one. Oh, well, that one's a toss. It's so many intricate details. So we'll only have the one fern on there and he'll be the submerged fern. And we have beautiful violets, a couple more rose petals to add. Throughout. And again, you can use any flowers that you pick. These are just some that I thought were beautiful. They kind of look really, uh, actually like real flowers. So I like that look. And we have one more rose petal to select up here with this and then let's see if we can't maybe get some of this top of this fern on let's see if we can even just get a little piece to work for us
just like that. That's beautiful. All right, so we are now going to do the second layer, and it's going to be very similar to the first layer in the fact that we are going to basically put it back on the turner, and we are going to mix clear, and we're going to layer it over the top, and then we're going to do some milk and layer it over the top. Um, we're not; It's going to be a lot less milk in the second section, second uh, round. Um, the top first round, the second round will be mainly clear to cover this up, and then just a little drizzle of the milk to kind of do the same thing you see here is where there's just like a little overlay on some of these, um, but to really make it uh, look like these are laying on the top of the water and these are un submerged underneath the milk bath. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, so here we are with our uh, milk bath, and this is the milk bath that we are doing with the stickers. We're gonna go ahead and get it going. Um, this one is going to be done uh, one more layer. So we had our first layer with our stickers that we put the white milk over the top and we folded in the uh, colorant for the epoxy. Then we put it over. Then we added another layer of stickers. Now we're gonna do a another uh, layer of epoxy that has just a tiny bit of white tint in it to just add a little sheen over the top. Um, the first layer has a lot of movement in it. So it's gonna look like the milk is flowing. This one should be a little bit more soft solid so it's going to kind of clean this all up but the the object is to kind of make this look very very natural as a, as if it's a realistic milk bath with these full size large plants and flowers as opposed to the other tutorial that we have that we use the dried flowers in all right so here we go All right, we're back. Look how gorgeous this tumbler's coming out. Now this is the um, milk bath done with um, the printable vinyl, the Lily and Rose printable vinyl. Um, we did the first layer, then put milk over the top, then we did the second layer, and we added a very sheer milk over the top of that one. Um, so we're getting a really, like, lot of depth throughout this tumbler. Um, these cute little pom-poms have a few little sharp edges on them, still poking out of the resin. So we are gonna use 320 grit, and we are gonna sand those down just a touch. I am wearing my dust mask to make sure that I don't um, inhale any of these little dust particles. Um, you don't wanna get that down in your lungs. And then I'm gonna take a shop rag and I'm gonna wipe it down. We'll, we'll use a baby wipe for now. And so that now it's nice and smooth. Um, so that it, uh, our next layer of epoxy should cover that up nicely. Um, that was the only part on this cup that had a little a little divot. Um, we're gonna get our logo printed out or our decal printed out and put on this tumbler and then we'll get the next layer of epoxy on it. All right guys, I'll see you soon. All right, so now we're at the point where we are going to add the decal. Um, we're gonna just put something cute, little mountain mama on there. Um, so this is done in holographic vinyl. Uh, so what I recommend when you work with holographic vinyl, or pretty much any vinyl, is to cut twice, especially when you have these small little details. Um, I put it on custom settings. I always, always use custom settings. I very, very rarely actually turn the dial to iron on vinyl or regular vinyl. Um, I use everyday printed vinyl or everyday vinyl, or um, I use, um, I searched holographic for this, and then I put it on custom settings more. Um, always remember that you don't want to use too detailed of um, a, a, a font because it might struggle um, but if not you can go uh, look inside my tutorials uh, uh, from Little Ian Rose and I have one where you can actually thicken the font it, I teach you how to do a sh shadowing and actually make it uh, deeper and the font deeper so that it will cut easier and not um, chew up all the uh, the vinyl so we are going to go ahead and use this and peel this away um, uh, I get asked about the uh, transfer vinyl that I use quite often. Um, so I will have the link below. It is just a, a really nice clear, so you can see the image really well. Um, again, vi uh, holographic vinyl is a more difficult vinyl, difficult vinyl to work with. Um, so you just wanna be careful as you release it off um, away from your transfer and just carefully, you can see I'm b basically peeling away the backing as opposed to trying to peel away the front from the back. Um, and that's gonna release that holographic vinyl off really well for you. Um, it's kind of similar to when you remove um, the item you have on the Cricut away from the mat instead of the mat away from the Cricut, or sorry, reverse ways. Um, okay, so we are just gonna line this up and look on down. 
Um, I'm going to turn the cup just a touch. I'm holding the cup in place with silicone stir sticks. I got one on each side just to keep it steady for me. All right, and I'm going to take my squeegee and I'm going to press down on one side and press down on the next. Make sure it's firmly pressed to the cup. And remove this out. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so now the next step is we're gonna get some uh, epoxy on this and it should be finished. All right, guys, we finished this one off. Look how gorgeous it is, I love it. Um, it came out beautiful. I used holographic vinyl on it. And this is just the layering of the decals with the milk bath. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is my second milk bath tutorial. If you're looking for one with real flowers, um, just jump back on our channel. We have a second one using dried silk flowers. Um, and you can watch that one as well. It's a little bit different technique. This one is using stickers and the other one is using real flowers. All right, we'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye guys.